While theaters around the country remain closed, some right here in Maine are getting creative, bringing shows outside or to computer screens. Penobscot Theater Company typically performs inside the beautiful Bangor Opera House, but through the pandemic, its artists have created their own shows, performing them for what they're calling Digitus Theatrum, digital theater that anyone can watch at home. I, I mean, it's been going great in that um, we've been able to employ a lot of uh, local artists and create a lot of new theater. And um, I think our only wish is that I think, I, I know everyone's zoomed out, so to speak, but I wish more people would tune in um, because we have so much going on that is being created right here in Maine by Maine artists. And it's it's been exciting though, and uplifting to do it, honestly, so. Yeah. I'm sure it helps at least boost the morale. Um, the latest one you have is The Tiniest Librarian Finds a Valentine. Walk me through this show. Sure. So this is created by Brittany uh, Parker, who is the educated, education coordinator at the Strand Theater. Um, she was originally a New York-based artist, and she's moved here. And she lived on Mount Desert Island for a while, and she created this show in honor of, um, let's see, Susan Plimpton, who's the librarian at Southwest Harbor. And it is this adorable, adorable show she made these. It's a tiny show. It's filmed really close, so it looks like real, you know, life size. But there are all these itty bitty paper puppets that she made. And she tells the whole story about how Miss Susan goes on an adventure through all these books to try and find her true love. And I was reading, it was based on Susan because she was sort of among the heroes that came out of this, just trying to keep libraries open and, and entertainment open for people through this. Yeah, I mean, Brittany feels that librarians are true heroes because they bring worlds of imagination to children, to adults, to everyone, and keep us, you know, our minds keen and keep us connected to each other, even when we can't be together. How many shows have you put on through Digitus Theatrum? We have two subscriptions, the family subscription of which Tiniest Librarian is a part of, and that was five shows. And then the main core subscription was also five shows. And then we have four sides and three sweeteners. I hesitate because Mr. Ben's Playhouse, which is also on right now, is actually five episodes. So it's one show, but it was five episodes. So we've done, I'm kind of amazed when I think of all the work we've done, all the work that all of us have done, you know? <laughs> it is pretty amazing. And I think it's so cool to, to use the little characters like that instead of real people. I agree. And I love that they're, they're shot so tightly that they really look full screen and almost life-size. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Very creative. You, you can learn more about where to see the tiniest librarian finds a Valentine. Shows begin on Sunday, just head to the 207 section of our website. Now also this weekend in the Portland area, pop-up performances. Portland Ovations has teamed up with the City and Ice Dance International to bring shows to a few outdoor parks and skating rinks. I spoke with Amy Petrin, the Executive and Artistic Director of Portland Ovations, about what to expect tomorrow. We'd like to think you can expect the unexpected, actually. So this is a series that we started in the fall called Pop Up in Your Parks. And we did it in the fall with concerts and we had a flatbed truck that went around to different um, parks in the city. And on Saturday, we will have, um, we'll be hosting the Ice Dance International and they'll be doing a series of performances at a location and time to be announced. Ooh, okay, so still a little bit secretive. Yes, yeah, so keep an ear and eye on our social media the morning of. Um, there will be, I can say, announce that we will have the last performance of the day at 5.30 at Thompson's Point at their rink. They're one of our partners and they're fantastic. And then additional performances will be announced for the day, the morning of, and that's just part of the nature of pop-ups. And it's part of the nature of us all staying safe and not creating too many big crowds. What has this pandemic been like for you guys? I mean, obviously a lot closed down, but it sounds like you've really been collaborating and pivoting. Mm -hmm. It's collaboration, it's pivoting, it's innovation. I love to say that one, especially because it's part of our name. Um, and really often taking the lead from artists too. The artists I think are really the ones that have really figured out how to 
continue their performing life in this world. So really working with the artists as one of those collaborators to really figure out how can we make it happen? How can we bring live performance back? And how can we make sure the digital also works for everybody? What has been some of the reaction so far? I mean, you had concerts in the fall. Well, that was so heartwarming because there were people who said to us, this is the first live performance or the first time I've heard live music in seven months. And that was it. That's all we needed. So you're obviously doing the right thing. What can people expect sort of moving forward with you? Moving forward, uh, we are in the process of planning a live performance series for 2122. There's so many amazing artists and projects that we didn't get to do this year and even last spring. So there's all that. And we will also continue to think about how we keep the digital alive because there's a lot of folks who really are enjoying the access of that, whether it's that they don't want to leave their house, maybe they're in Florida because they go there parts of the year and they still want to have access to ovations and they still want to be part of the Portland community. So we're really looking at really how to keep both pieces moving forward. And if you'd like to catch one of the pop-up performances tomorrow, again, you should follow Portland Ovations online. Check their social media first thing in the morning. Masks and social distancing are required at all of the shows. And one more note about theater returning. Portland Stage is presenting Winnipesaukee Playhouse's production of Or. You can either see it live at Portland Stage through next week, or you can watch it on demand until the end of the month. You'll find out more information at portlandstage.org. Lots going on in the theater world.